All right, welcome back. And now we're going into foundational principles associated with the uh, course ACCT 80, uh, 8086, uh, CIS 8080, and MIT 8080. And I'm sure you all are as tired as I am of seeing those course numbers, so I'm not going to say them anymore for the rest of the semester. If you're here, I assume you know you're here and you're supposed to be here. So. We're going to move into some key characteristics of information security. That one of five means there are five slides associated with it. Um, and uh, the first is this idea of security. It's the quality or state of being secure. You should be screaming foul. I'm using the same word to define the word. But the idea behind security is it's really about risk management. It's really about how do we manage risk in a certain scenario. And uh, if you look at the picture, you should see a uh, boy on a car hanging on for dear life. Look at those fingertips just hanging on. And then uh, 35 mile an hour speed limit on the road and the little uh, speed indicator indicating 99 miles an hour. He, there, there is some risk, uh, assuming that picture was true, which it's not. But Different types of risk are going to be physical, operational, communications, and network. We'll talk about uh, what each of those risks mean. Could I put this on a quiz? No, I could not. You can't put a definition that defines itself on a quiz, but some of this other stuff, maybe I can. So let's flip the slide. Look at the next slide. And we're going to be talking about, if it will flip, it will not flip. Hold on for a second. There we go. We're going to be talking about information security. Now, this is important. So we've got the protection of information, duh, and its critical characteristics, confidentiality, integrity, availability. I'm stomping my foot. Those three terms are important. If you're going to function in the computer security realm or sphere, you need to know what those words mean inside and out. You can't look them up. It's got to be in your head. They are just foundational definitions. We're going to spend probably uh, three slides ahead because I can see the slides. We're going to spend some more time on what those words mean. But confidentiality, integrity, and availability are going to be important. It includes systems and hardwares that use, store, and transport inform that information. I'm stomping my foot again. Use, store, in transmit that use could be processed. So while the information is being processed, while the information is being stored, and while the information is being transmitted, we got to protect it. All right. And then finally, we're going to apply policy, awareness training, and education programs and technology. <coughs> wow, three big ideas. We can use policy. We can tell people what's right and wrong. We can make them aware and train them and educate them about uh, that security and that security risk and then we can use some technology to help us address that risk. So again, this is an important slide. Covers a big picture of the, the, the importance of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. The, the kind of construct that we're going to process information and store it and then transmit it. We've got to protect it at all three phases. And this idea that we can solve this problem using technology or policy or some form of training and education. All right, important slide. All right, let's go to the next one. And what this is saying is security. You've got this management, you've got policy, you've got that network piece, you've got the computer piece. You, it all kind of ties together, and it all has to work together. One piece by itself is not going to solve this problem. All right, let's move forward to a slide that you're going to learn to love or learn to hate because we're going to spend some time on this slide. So this is the CNSS security model. I'm not going to tell you what CNSS stands for. You're going to have to look it up. Most people in business aren't going to ask you, but they're going to be familiar with this idea that confidentiality, integrity, and availability are key characteristics of information. And you've got to protect those and thus Bad guys and bad girls out there are going to attack your systems based on compromising one or more of these three. A kind of horizontal axle there on storage processing and transmission says 
data is going to be in one of those three states at any time. You've either got it stored, you're processing it, or you're transmitting it. And so while the data is in one of those three states, it could be attacked. And while the data is in one of those three states, it can be protected. And then finally, you can use policy, education, and technology to address it. For those of you who are too old to really be taking this class, I'm just joking. For those of you who remember a Rubik's Cube, how about that's more politically correct. For those of you who remember a Rubik's Cube, we've got a cube now of this particular model with policy, education, and technology, confidentiality, integrity, availability, storage, processing, transmission. For those of you who are watching this video, listening to it, wondering what's going to be on the test, every time you look at a question, you should have this slide in front of you. You really should, because you should be considering each of these nine dimensions whenever you answer a question. If you address all of these nine dimensions on any question, or at least consider them, you're going to get an A. This is an important slide. We're going to come back to it over and over again. You just need to know what those words mean and how to use them in context, and you are going to be a rock star. You're going to do great. So. Having said that, let's move forward and start looking at confidentiality, integrity, and availability. All right, confidentiality talks about that characteristic of information where you've got to have a, dedicate, uh, a demonstrated need to access certain information. If I'm trying to protect your Social Security number, and it's your Social Security number, only you need to know that. You want to keep that information confidential. You don't want to drive around in a car with your, your Social Security number on the side of the car. So confidentiality is about protecting a secret, okay? And there's certain information that we want to keep secret. Your health records, your grades, those types of things you should have some privacy around. Integrity talks about the quality or state of being whole, complete, and uncorrupted. You want your bank account to have integrity. You don't want me going in and taking all of your money and giving it, moving it over to my account. The fact that I know how much money you have in your bank account would be an attack on the confidentiality of that information. The fact that I can change that amount is an attack on the integrity of that information. So hopefully you've got it straight in your head. We've got two of the three done. Confidentiality, protecting a secret. Integrity, protecting so that only those who are authorized can change the data. Bank account's a good example. And then availability goes to that characteristic that people can actually access the information in a usable format. So sometimes those bad guys and bad girls out there will attack the availability of information and then try to extract funding. So if you're running a big computer game, there are lots of crime syndicates and some nation states that will say, hey, I'm going to take down Diablo 3 or Ultima Online or whatever game you're playing, Farmville, unless you pay me a ransom of $1,000 a month or $10,000 or a million dollars a month, depending on how much the game is making. And what they're really trying to do is attack the availability. They can't change the data in the game. They can't really see the data in the game. They're just trying to block it where you can't get to it. Now, why is that important? Well, if I'm running like Amazon.com, availability is very important to me. People can't buy things unless they can get to the site. So availability is something that I want to be able to protect. So there you have it, the CIA model, confidentiality, integrity, availability three critical components that you really need to understand if you're going to do well in this course. All right, let's move to some more definitions. What about privacy, identification, and authentication? So privacy, that basically means that it's only used for the purposes stated by the data owner at the time it was collected. So I, privacy means I'm going to share with you how I'm going to use that data. Y'all all know this, but if you don't, I'll tell you right now. If you put your data up in Dropbox, that free app that's out on the web, it will faithfully store that data for you. It will ensure the integrity of that data, assuming you have a strong password. It will make that data available to you all the time.
but there will be no confidentiality of that data. You put a picture up there, it will be shared with everyone. There is no confidentiality. They are trying to use your data to sell you products. And thus, all of that data is going to be mined to figure out what you like, what you don't like, what you like doing, what you buy. And if you put anything in Dropbox, it will be mined. There is no assumption of confidentiality. There is no assumption of privacy. All right, identification. Identification means you have some characteristic that allows uh, the system to recognize you. It may be a username and password. It might be biometrics in the form of a fingerprint or doing a uh, retinal eye scan. There might, you know, take your blood and analyze your blood and go, yep, that's you. Those are all forms of identif identification. And authentication is a form of that, and that's where you've got some control that uh, confirms you uh, uh, possess an identity, and that, that identity is what you say. So we have tokens out there that provide that. Uh, again, username, password is going to be a, a form of authentication. But once you're authenticated in, you have access to a system. All right, let's talk about something different than authentication, and that is authorization. Authorization assumes that the user has been specifically and explicitly authorized to access, update, delete the contents of an information asset. So authentication, you're proving who you are. Authorization means you're doing, hopefully, what you were authorized to do. And then accountability tries to link those two together so that you've got not only authentication but authorization to use a, a particular system. All right, I've talked a good bit about uh, the foundational principles associated with computer security and privacy. We're then going to move into uh, project management for our next video, and we're also going to come back and explore that beautiful CNSS model and look at some more dimensions within there within that model beyond confidentiality, availability, and integrity. Talk to you later on. Have a great day. Bye-bye.